Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a first impression slash review on the Stellar Cosmic Face Powder in Haze. So this is supposed to be like the translucent powder. Um, I think it's supposed to uh, compete with the famous uh, Laura Mercier powder, the translucent one obviously. Now I already have the Cosmic Face Powder in Glow 2 but I usually use that like um, for my whole face, not really for under my eyes or anything like that. The shade for this is perfect for evening everything out. Um, I think, in my opinion, it blends perfectly with my skin tone. Everything's great. They do have, I think, two other shades as well. Glow 1 and Glow 3 and some other shades. I wanted to try the translucent one just for under my eyes because obviously I want to brighten that out, um, highlight it, the bridge of my nose, everything like just Just bring everything for. Don't mind the towel on my head. I had to wash my hair today. So I got the rest of my face ready. I contoured. I did my foundation. I did my concealer. So what you're going to see is that I'm putting on the the powder under my eyes, on my nose bridge and everything. So if you want to see this review, then keep on watching. So here's the jar, color haze. So this is the translucent powder. Um, so I did my foundation, I did my concealer, I did a bit of contour on my nose already. So how I normally like to put my powder on is with the Tiny Beauty Blender, the minis. It's slightly damp right now. So how, what it comes with is a little powder puff. I'm just gonna peel this. Boy. Alright, I'm gonna pick up a bit of powder. This is very finely milled. Also vegan and cruelty free, so that is A. So let's see. I feel like the press presses right into the skin. Apparently it has no flashback, so we'll see about that. My boyfriend's having a bagel right now. So I put on the bridge of my nose, a little bit of the tip, and where my smile line is because that is the most problematic. So stupid me, I've left my camera at home, so now I'm using my camera phone to do these check-ins. Great job, Nadia. So it's been about four hours or so, and I think the powder is holding up the oil pretty well so far. Um, around here, my nose got a little shiny, but that's that's just how my nose is, no matter what, it's still gonna be slightly shiny. However, um, it's not as shiny, so I will give it some points for that, but it's still poking through. Um, other than that, everything is still flawless, um, no creasing or anything. My, I can't even talk today. My smile line, um, normally around this time, like about four or five hours or so, um, the foundation would start to crease here, but is not doing that so we seem to be good so far uh, I'll check back in a few more hours so it's been another four hours or so since um, my last check-in and I don't know to me I got a little bit more shinier but it's like it's not overly shiny if you get what I'm saying um, my nose got a little bit shinier um, it's not a bad thing, it's just what my face does, it's normal, I'm not going to deduct points for it because no matter what powders I use, it just does what it does. Um, it got a little bit oily here, around there. Um, it's been, in total, it's basically been 8 hours, so I can't really like get mad at it. It's been pretty good so far, in my opinion, like, uh, this is just normal to me. So. I like it. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, I wish it was a little bit more matte. I did take a photo um, with flash photography. 
if you don't blend it well, then it will bunch up under the eyes, which you will see in the picture. Um, so my advice is to really blend that well. So that's the only thing. Um, it's not a major thing. That's That was completely my fault. Um, but yeah, so I'm not mad at it at all. So even if like I just pat it down, because normally, you know, when you pat down your face to take off the oil, it's gone. So I'm doing that right now. It doesn't seem to be much of a difference. So you know what? My For the most part, my face has been pretty matte. It took up, uh, soaked up all the oils and everything like that for the most part. Um, so I don't know. In my opinion, I think that this is a amazing powder. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's, it's a good and bad thing. It is finely milled, so it will glide on beautifully. However, the powder will go everywhere. That's my only thing about it. If you don't mind that, fine, but uh, it's not a deal breaker for me. It's just a little bit messy from time to time, but you know what? So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like me doing check-ins like this, then leave a comment below so I know, or if you have any other suggestions, please. Once again, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.